What's up everyone, D Crack here. And guys, we're about to check out five scary ghost videos you should not watch alone. I believe this is by the channel um, Nukes, Nukes Top Fives. Like always guys, I'll have a link to the original video down below. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure and subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss any new reactions. And you know, leave a comment down below. But guys, let's check out five scary ghost videos you should not watch alone. Let's go. Top five ghosts caught on camera. No rest. Late one night, YouTube ghost hunter Franco TV explores a creepy graveyard crypt in eastern Florida called the Chapel of Peace. He is all alone with just a camera and a light. Now this place is spooky as it is, only because this place is massive. That's just this side and that's actually the ending. But over here, it goes on and on and on and on and on to the other side of the place. The walls are lined with the tombs of the dead and the building floor is decorated with flowers and memorabilia left for the deceased. As Frank explores the outside of the crypt, he thinks he sees a shadow. Oh Damn. no. A frickin' a what? I just, a I just saw a shadow. I literally just saw a shadow. Then he begins to hear footsteps. I would get out of there. I feel like I'm hearing footsteps behind that, me. If that was me, I'd get out as of there. I'm walking <laughs> forward. I'm walking forward towards the other side. And as I'm walking through there, I kid you not, you could hear footsteps coming from behind me, going from that area. Oh my God. That was weird because I keep looking back because I felt like somebody was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. As he makes his way to the door of the inner crypt, he catches something truly terrifying. I am going to make my way back to the room just to just... <gasps> Doesn't that look like a shadow? Look at the door. I don't see it. I personally don't see it. That literally looks like a shadow. Where's the shadow at? Where is it? That's like the reflection of the other side of this wall. That is... <gasps> oh, I gotta, I gotta rewind this back a bit. I don't know. That is... <gasps> It did look like it, like it could be like a shadow figure, a black shadow figure. That's creepy. Oh my god. That's creepy. I'm sorry, I have to stop saying that. That's creepy. But holy crap. But literally the shadow was coming from this door. Like it was reflecting this wall. It was literally reflecting this wall. Oh. Oh my god. It looked like a black figure that was like hunched so over. Up by that. It looked hunched over it like, like it was walking. That just pay attention to this, because I don't even know how to explain this. This is like a lot of math. Look at this door, but not the door. The reflection. You see that reflection there of the tombs? Those are these tombs here. Okay? And it was literally right freaking here. Once inside the crypt, Frank conducts a spirit box session. Frank. Frank. <laughs> My God. Then he decides to end his investigation for the night. But it seems that the spirits might not be ready for him to leave just yet. And it's already going to be four in the morning. And I got to get some sleep because tomorrow is my last dude get out of there get out of there dude get out hello i just okay stop 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 
What? That chair just freaking oh moved. God. It's a poltergeist. It's a freaking poltergeist. Lord be with me. What? What just happened? To, oh my God. That chair and just freaking that, moved on its Frank own. Frank has had enough and decides to just get out what? of there. What? I gotta go. Time for me to leave. You can check out Frank's full 30 minute investigation of the Chapel of Peace over on his channel, Franco TV. You asked for it. The Paranormal Lights Ghost Hunting Group investigated a haunted house in Villisca, Iowa. The house has a violent history that dates all the way back to the early 1900s. The Paranormal Lights Group has several odd encounters. But when team leader Nick Downs investigates the home's creepy attic, he decides to taunt the spirits of the house. That's one thing you never do. I've watched ghost adventures and all these different ghost shows. Yeah, you, know, you never know how real or fake they are. Demons, spirits, whatever. You don't want to taunt them. Don't aggravate them and make them angry. That's just, it's not going to end well for you. If a place is truly filled with supernatural beings. This door. Oh, oh my god. What the hell is that? Is the door in there shut? The door just slammed shut. Alright, I know you did not... You did not see oh, this. Oh, hell the no. Slammed shut. I got it all on video. I can't move. And I really got a fart. <laughs> and it just went back in and that hurt. Bad. Oh my gosh. Hold this flashlight, I got it. Um, let's hope Nick eventually worked out his problem. <laughs> oh I can't move. And I really got a fart. You can see more of the team's supernatural encounters at the Velisca Haunted House on their Facebook page, Paranormal Lights. The doorway. And this is our firehouse where the bodies were actually stored. On what? November 14th, 1970, Southern Airways Flight 932 collided with a hill near Huntington Tri-State Airport in West Virginia. All 70 passengers perished in the crash. The bodies were brought to the Huntington oh Tri-State Airport Fire Station to await identification. That's terrible. Cut to present day. Nuke's top five viewer Wesley Moore works the overnight shift at the Huntington Tri-State Airport in the same building as the supposedly haunted fire station. Wesley says that since working at the small airport, he has experienced some very odd occurrences including doors that mysteriously open on their own. Oh, that'd be so creepy. So that'd be so creepy. the Ugh. beginning or the entrance area of the private side where I'm located, as you come to the front door and you walk in, there is my desk area. And then these are the doors that open by themselves. And this is the kitchen area. And then this is the door that also opens by itself. But as you can see, the only way through this door is with a scan card. And this is our uh. firehouse where the bodies were actually stored. After multiple strange occurrences, Wesley began recording his shifts. Late one night, he is working all alone when this happens. Someone's walking. Oh.
Oh, no, no. I would quit that job. I would quit that job. Oh, that, that scared me. That freaking scared me, yo. And if you think Wesley might be faking the video, well, the airport CCTV caught the encounter as well, and it reveals even more. So, what? did Wesley what? catch a ghost on camera at Huntington Airport? Or is it just a hoax? You decide. Child's play. J-Bo Malero what? and his friends are filming a ghost hunt at a park in Oahu, Hawaii. Jay says that the ghost hunt was just for fun. The only dark history that the park has is a few tragic accidental drownings at the community pool located just behind these swings. But once Jay starts oh, filming, it's gonna be a little some kid ghost. things show up on the recording. It's gonna be a freaking child, a child ghost. But this orb is truly bizarre. It appears and then remains motionless. But as Jay approaches the camera, the orb fades in a very odd way. Jay says that he didn't see any of these strange anomalies until watching the video back. Oh, But what no. do you think? Is this just a strange mist or maybe a drop of moisture on the camera? Or is this a ghost caught on camera? It looks real to me. I don't know though. A puppy and the poltergeist. A Jordanian explorer named Ahab investigates a haunted house along with this cute little puppy, Lucy. Oh. It is said that the woman who lived in the house treated sick and possessed people until her son became possessed himself and passed away inside the home. Ahab and Lucy oh. enter inside. Oh, that place is that place is creepy. No, no. Nope. That place looks freaking creepy. How did that lady's baby become possessed? How does a, how does an infant or a baby become possessed? I don't know. That's creepy. Dude, get out of there. I have a bad feeling about this, this place that he's in. Get out of there. Oh, Lucy's scared. Lucy's scared. Lucy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah. La ilaha illa Allah. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-Tammat min Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That's a loud bang. That is loud. Something is hitting that with force. Hey, hey, hey. 
ترى على فكرة بجوز أنا كمان لأني جايب كلب والكلب نجس أنا ضريت حالي هيك والله شامل إشي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Get, he needs to get out of there like so. Oh. Huh? صار الوضع بخوف قسما بالله صار الوضع بخوف يا اخوان تعالوا سي بسم الله يما 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 اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق يو اي جاتا جو باك وات واز ذات واز ذير سم ليكويد كومين اوت اوف ذا سينك صار الوضع بخوف قسما بالله صار الوضع بخوف يا اخوان تعالوا سي بسم الله يما 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 آه أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق Had decides to take little Lucy away to safety and returns to the house alone. He leaves the front door open so he can make a quick escape if something goes wrong. Yo, I would get out of there. I would not go back in that house. No. Obviously, his return trip to the house didn't last long. You can see all of Ahab's paranormal adventures on his YouTube channel or on his Snapchat. Thanks for watching. If you would like. Guys, that last one was creepy. Oh, I want to kind of do some exploring videos, but oh, but guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said earlier, if you did, make sure and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so you don't miss any new reactions. Leave a comment down below if you have any other videos you want me to react to. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, peace.